In this video, we will cover the mass transfer records and mass delete records feature in Salesforce. First, we're going to learn how to mass transfer records via the user interface. Before we dive in, here is some info about this feature. The mass transfer tool can be used to transfer multiple accounts, leads, service contracts, and all custom objects from one user to another. The key permission required is the transfer record permission. Let's get started. Go to Setup, type Mass Transfer in the Quick Find box, select the Mass Transfer Records option. On this page, select the object you would like to mass transfer records for. In this example, we will click on Transfer Accounts and it will land up on this wizard. Before moving on, we need to understand what gets transferred. As you see here, any notes that belong to the existing owner. All contacts that belong to the existing owner. All opportunities including the closed opportunities. So, open opportunities that belong to the existing owner will get transferred. And then, by selecting the Transfer Closed Opportunities option, you can transfer any closed opportunities that are not owned by the existing owner. Next is all open activities assigned to the existing owner and the new owner should have edit access to the accounts. Here you will see two options transfer from user or partner user, we will select the user option. Before we go ahead, let's take a look at a dummy account. In this example, the account belongs to a user John Smith. We'll be transferring all accounts that belong to John Smith to the system admin Mike Murphy. If you have a quick look at the related info, the contacts are all owned by John Smith. There are a few opportunities that are open and closed. This is an open opportunity owned by John Smith. And this is the closed one opportunity owned by him. And all cases are owned by John Smith as well. We'll go ahead and apply the conditions. I'll select John Smith as the user from whom I want to transfer to Mike Murphy. Now you can transfer to a user or a partner user. We will also be transferring closed opportunities, transfer open opportunities which are not owned by the existing account owner, and open cases which are owned by the existing account owner and as well as closed cases. We also want to keep the same account team that is there on the accounts. However, we don't want to keep the same opportunity team on opportunities when this opportunity gets transferred to the new owner. One thing to note is, when the accounts are transferred and all related records are transferred as mentioned, the sharing access that is given via sharing rules and manual sharing will get removed as well. The next step is to select the relevant conditions in the criteria option. These are all account fields and we'll be searching for owner, select owner first name equals, John and owner last name equals Smith. Click on find. Scroll down and the list of account records that matches the criteria appears here. All the account records owned by John are here, select them by enabling this checkbox. Click Transfer. There will be a highlighted box which shows how many records were transferred. Refresh the page to have a look at the four accounts that were transferred. You can see the new account owner is Mike Murphy. And, let's have a look at an open and closed opportunity and few cases as well. This is an open opportunity transferred to Mike Murphy. A closed opportunity was transferred, and this is a case which was closed, transferred to Mike Murphy and this is a closed case as well. This is how you can use mass transfer records. Moving on to the next topic of this video, which is mass delete records. Within setup, type mass delete in the quick find box to open the mass delete records page. Before we get started, here are a few points to note about this feature. Deleted data is not permanently deleted unless you select this option permanently delete. It remains in the recycle bin and can be restored for up to 15 days. However, up to 250 records can be deleted at a time using this wizard. The data from the object that you will be deleting, you should have modify all data access to that object. In this example, We'll try and find all accounts which have the name test inside them. Select account name contains test. Click search. There are a few dummy accounts, and this list of records will appear on the bottom of the page. 
An important point to note regarding deletion is all related data also gets deleted against the object. If you are going to delete accounts, then associated opportunities and contacts will get deleted. However, if an account is attached to a case, open or closed, it cannot be deleted. And, here you have the option not to delete accounts that have associated, closed one opportunities. Otherwise, these accounts will get deleted. The next option is to choose delete accounts with another owner's opportunities, which will delete accounts that are associated with opportunities owned by someone else. We will skip all of these because these are all dummy accounts in our system. The next section is an option to permanently delete. Use this with utmost caution and make sure you have archived or exported your data before you use this feature. Next, select the accounts you want to delete by enabling the checkbox next to it and click delete. The page will reappear and the deleted test records will not be shown. In case the changes are not reflected, refresh the page. And all the test accounts are gone now. This is how you can use the mass delete feature. Another point is you can delete reports as well, but you cannot delete reports that are tagged or attached to dashboards or used in reporting snapshots. But reports that are in public folders can be mass deleted. So, a very good tool to delete unnecessary or redundant activities, duplicate leads, accounts and reports. Thank you.